Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Calendar API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Google Calendar API to list all the calendars in a user's account. All right, so this video is going to be pretty straightforward. I'll be using the calendar list resource and the list method. And let me scroll down to the parameters. And these are the parameters that we can uh, specify in our query. So we can uh, set the max results. And by default, it's 100 entries per page. And if your uh, calendar list exceeds 100 calendars, we can either increase the limit to 250 entries per page, or we can uh, provide the page token, which is going to be the identification key that you're going to provide when you want to retrieve information or records from the next page. And we can also uh, set the minimal access row. So the parameter is called min access row. And these are some of the parameters. And the sync token is, uh, this one is a little bit different from other Google API services. The sync token is used uh, when you want to only return update information since the last retrieval. Let's say on July 1st, I used the list method to query all my available calendars and found the API output. I was going to give you a sync token uh, ID. And the next time when you uh, provide that sync token ID, the query will only return updated information. Usually I don't really need to provide the sync token since I almost always want to see uh, all the information all right, so here, let me go back to my uh, Python editor. And here's the code to create the Google Calendar API service instance. Oh, let me see if I need to provide the request body. All right, cool. So we don't need to provide a request body object, which is a uh, really good news. And these are the two scopes values that we can provide to use this, uh, to use this resource. All right, so here I'm going to uh, create an object called response. I'm going to insert my service object dot calendar list. I'm going to insert the list method that has a queue. And I'll print the response using the pbprint function. And this is the simple method and which gives you everything uh, in a user's account. So if I run the script, And this is the return information. And currently I have, let's see, one, two, three calendars in my account. And let me go back to the code. If I use the, the function to print the attributes and the methods of the response object. Oops, uh, let me do this. Let me just run uh, the highlight code by itself. And me run line 14. Oh, actually, I used the wrong function. I should get the keys, not the method. So if I print the keys, and from the response object, I have items, next sync token. And I'm only interested in the items. So here I'll insert the print function, response that gets, I'll print the items only. And that returns a list. And if I print just the first element, and from the first element item, here we have the ID and calendar title, which is uh, summary, time zone, color ID, background color, foreground color, and some other information. Now let's say an account has more than 250 uh, calendars. The maximum uh, results per page is 250. So if you want to uh, grab all the calendars, so here, this is what I will do. I will insert a while loop to iterate all the pages and store all the information into a list. Here, let me show you what I would done. Here, let me go back to uh, line 11. Inside the list method, I want to set the max results to 250. 
and I'll provide a couple additional parameters. So I'll use this as kind of like a template. So I'm going to uh, insert show deleted parameter. And we're going to set that to false, which is the default value, show heading, to false as well. And just these three parameters uh, for now. You can also update the parameters uh, based on your uh, use case. And here I'll create an object called calendar items. And from the response object, I'll insert the get method and I'll grab the items. And I'll create another variable called next page token. So when there are additional pages of uh, records need to be retrieved, the API output will give you a next page token. So here I'm going to insert the response object that gets. And let me go back to the documentation. So if I scroll down, here's a sample of the response object. And let me just print the content here. Let me uh, comment that out. And the key is going to be next page token. I'm going to insert the key name. Now I can insert a while loop to iterate all the pages. So I'll grab uh, uh, this code block. I'll just paste. I'm going to say while next page page token has uh, any value or oh, it's not empty basically inside the while loop we need to insert the page token parameter I need to provide the next page token value and we need to change the method from equal sign to extend so we need to extend the uh, the items. Okay, and once the while loop is finished, we can print the calendar items object, and that gives you all the calendar items. All right, so this is everything I'm going to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.